What's going on Redliners? Welcome back to another travel vlog. If this is your first time watching one of them, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below. Today we're in a veil and we actually are heading out to a couple really cool journeys. Um, and I'm not going to spoil it for you now, but uh, you guys will see. Very, very exciting. We're going up very, very high in elevation. That's all I'm going to tell you. You guys will figure out the rest as the vlog goes on. We rented out a villa last night, so I'll do a quick villa tour. Here's the you know, kitchen eating area right here. You got a sitting area with a TV mounted over there. And uh, there's a view outside. Here's the, you know, another sitting area with some you know, board games that you can play. The first bedroom right in here with a view of the mountain. This is where you come in from. And uh, the bathroom over there, quick storage area and luggage area right there. And then, lastly, you have the master bedroom with the ensuite out uh, over here. I'm going to save the portion over there. This is the master where I slept last night. A little jacuzzi, you know, um, an area, two sinks, and, uh, and a shower in there. The nicest place of the hotel, though, is when you step outside here. Check this out. Check out the view that you get out here. Move the seat out of the way a little bit. Boom. You see the Vail Mountains in the background. Obviously, Vail is a huge ski resort. Uh, we're obviously here in the summertime, so the ski uh, you know, slopes aren't functioning right now. But you can still appreciate how nice the mountains are to look at. We're gonna start heading out in a few minutes here. Just slightly delayed, there was a very, very good tennis match on. Most of you probably don't watch tennis, so irrelevant to you guys, but for you guys that do, the uh, Wawrinka match was very, very good against Murray. Anyways, we'll uh, close out this portion of the vlog and we'll start out the car portion of the vlog momentarily. And it's in Colorado, obviously, but I'm not gonna tell you. I mean, you guys can probably Google it and figure out where we are, but I'll tell you where we when we get there to the top. Take a look at the road, though. It's a uh, little intense. Basically, we go up that. Quite windy up here and quite cold as well. So uh, right now, well, the temperature when we started was 84. Right now, it's showing 55, and we were told that when we get up there, it's 30. So yeah, pretty chilly conditions. Look at the road, though. Not the most ideal hooting road, that's for sure. Uh, so we got to take it easy and get up there uh, and not scrape the Camaro. So. We'll, uh, I'll report back when we get to the top, probably. See you guys in a few. We got some uh, heavy snow. Not that heavy, probably a good 30, 40 inches left on the sides. And we're currently at, I think, 20, uh, 13,000 feet in elevation. We're going up to just over 14,000 feet in elevation. Look at that. Look at what I found. Sorry in advance for all the wind noise. It is extremely windy up here. And here, I'll tell you where we are. Here. Oh, okay. right Look at the road. You can see very clearly that we climbed up. Again, I apologize in advance for any wind. It is extremely windy, like probably 50 60 miles an hour wind. 
what's going on fellow Redliners. came here to a little bit more of a sheltered area to uh, tell you what where we are in case you didn't hear me earlier we're on the top of Mount Evans take a look at this view and I apologize again if there's a lot of wind noise but it's extremely windy up here check that view out on top of it being extremely windy add extremely cold to the mix as well did a little hiking. Check this out. Even better view. Oh my goodness. Look how nice that looks. Get some zoom in here. The wind has died down slightly momentarily, so I hope you guys can hear me. Just doing a little pan of the top of the run ranges. Oh, here go the big gusts. And uh, that's the road that I'm about to go down on. Should be. What's going on, Redliners? We are now in Rocky Mountain National Park. The drive up here was absolutely spectacular, but uh, I'm sure the views here are going to be even better. First stop here, uh, about maybe a minute, two minutes in. Look at all the moose just chilling here, really eating as the sun begins its descent in the sky. About six o'clock here, so I guess an appropriate dinner time for them. Uh, I'm sure there are more animals to come as we uh, proceed further on into the park. But great first stop here. Uh, beautiful. How uh, they're just, you know, chilling there. There's people over here. I'm standing over there. And they're continuing on with their day like nothing has happened. Very neat. Well, Redliners, we made it to the peak of Rocky Mountain National Park. Check out the view here. Very, I mean, it's similar in the sense that you're at the top of the mountain to Mount Evans, but the formation of the rocks and the landscape's a little different. Here it's very rocky, whereas the other one had more rolling plains. Um, and this one does have it, it's just on this side. Right there you can see the uh, good old Camaro over there. I'm gonna head over there see if I can find it. Redliners, walk a little further. Check this out. At the absolute peak here, looking downwards. Look at that vertical drop off. Do not want to be falling down that. But take a look at this, and thankfully the wind has calmed down for a few seconds. So I hope you guys enjoyed some of the videos today. Probably going to pack it in and head down the mountain and then check in the hotel. I'll most likely see you guys tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe below, and I'll see you guys next time.